Hey everyone, this is Puneet back again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a new Excel function that I have started using lately. And I have just fallen in love with this function. And this function is called text split. So let's understand how to use this function and how amazing this function actually is. So when I enter this function, uh, there are a few arguments that I need to define, but it's super easy to use. So I'll select the text that I want to split. And then I will specify a delimiter that I want to use to split the text. So here I have space between each word and I want to use this space as a delimiter. So I'm going to specify this space and there are a few more arguments and we will learn about it in just a few seconds. But let's see what, what happens with this, uh, you know, just one argument. And now the moment I hit enter, it split all the values into multiple cells using the space delimiter. So this is the basic example of using text split, you know, whenever you need to extract or split values from one cell to multiple cells. Now let's take a different example and try to understand this function in a better way. So here I have name and then in between I have equal sign and here after the first entry I have a comma. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter text split again and select the cell a1 and now i want these three entries to be in three different rows and two different columns so first name age and gender in the one column and then the actual name value age value and gender value in the second column so what i'll do first i'll specify the column delimiters so it can split these two values from each other name and name value in two different cells so i'll specify equals here and then i need to split these three entries so basically name in one row age in one row and gender in one row so here i will specify the delimiter for a row so here the delimiter is a comma and now in the next argument i can specify if i want to ignore blank or empty cell so here i don't have any blank value so i'm gonna say true and now there's one more argument that asks me to specify if i want to take the delimiter as a case sensitive match or a non-case sensitive match so i will say okay case sensitive now there is one more argument that is called pad with I'm going to explain this argument in the next example but as of now let's ignore this and hit enter to get the result all right so here we have name age gender in one column and the actual name entry age entry and gender entry in one column but here there is a small fix that we need to do we need to use the trim function so that the spaces that we have in between you know the entries so we can remove them with the trim function and now the moment i hit enter it gives me the actual entries in two different columns all right so now let's understand the last argument which i was telling you pad with so let's say if you have data in this form but with the age entry you don't have any value so here you can see for the age we have an error so to handle these situations you can use the pad with argument so I'm going to specify a value here so that every time I face or I get an error in the value, I can replace it with some more meaningful value or something else. So I'm going to use a space or just a blank value. And now the moment I hit enter, it shows me all the values. And instead of showing an NA error, it shows me a blank value. That's it. Okay, thanks for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool Excel tips and tricks in coming weeks.